So today I want to share something exciting because something exciting came in the post for me today. Now what you're seeing here looks like a goop. <laughs> it's actually roots, roots of a plant which I'm now soaking in some water because this one just came in the post so I want to let it drink some water because it was in the post for uh, about three days and the roots were slightly dried. Now I've let it soak for about half an hour and in the meantime I had prepared some of the substrate that I'm going to plant it in. So from the substrate you know that it's an aeroid because this is what I use normally generally for my aeroid substrate. So there are some cocoa chips and some charcoal in there but I've just lined the bottom of this pot, which is not a very big pot. Just lined the bottom of this pot because the root system looks quite big. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, Osmocot slow release fertilizer into here to start off the plant in its new environment. Some Osmocot. So I'm just going to take a pinch like that and I'm just going to spread it out. Aren't you excited to see what this plan is? You want to take a guess now? I'm going to pan up slowly. Drum rolls please. Ooh, you can see it now. Uh -huh. It is da -da 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 -da. a philodendron melanochrysum. Beautiful, isn't it? It's quite a huge plant this is. It's got three leaves. One is quite battered. That's alright because I've got a fresh new spike coming out here. And uh, it looks like this one has been cut out from another plant because the stem here looks quite old and the roots um, are dried. But I do have can see just a little tiny spike coming out here so which is good which is good news and um, its root system is mainly at the bottom here it's quite a lot of it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this into this and I'm going to bring it out to its new home so I'm going to just lift this up. It's quite a big root system. Just try and put it in here. The pot does look a little bit small for it. Uh, but at the moment, this is the only pot that I have at hand. So I'm just going to use this. And I also have another idea for this. Uh, later I will show you. Um, because... I might not need such a big pot for the bottom roots because I'm trying to get the top roots to cling onto something. So as long as the top roots get to cling onto something, then uh, it wouldn't need so much substrate at the bottom here because it can get all its water, its moisture and all its um, nutrients from uh, the top root if I'm able to get it to work. So I'm just uh, adding back all this substrate that it came with so that it feels familiar like like when you move home you want to bring some of your stuff with you you don't want everything new because you want to feel at home in your new house. And then I'm gonna add more cocoa chips some charcoal to stabilize it as well okay I've also thrown in like a few handfuls of lacquer beads and now I'm gonna throw in like a cup of soil move it around 
that's my lazy way of doing substrate. Reminds me of making cake. Like you don't mix all your ingredients together, you just throw in, throw them in one by one, and then you mix it in the bowl. Okay, I think this is good enough. For those of you who have been following my videos, you would know that I have a variegated Sigonium sitting here with my bamboo plant and it has attached itself to the trunk of the bamboo and it's growing very very well just look at the size of this so what I'm going to do now is I have pushed uh, the Signonium pot to the side and created a space here so that's where the Milano Chrysum is going to sit um, I gathered that if the Sigonium is doing so well climbing up this bamboo tree uh, <laughs> fingers crossed my Milano Chrysum will do as well as this it's just trial and error I hope it works <laughs> okay I'm gonna put the video camera down and I'm gonna place the plant there Ah, oh, it's got its own space here. It's a bit cramped, but it'll do. And then I am going to tie this plant and let it grow up the tree with my Signonium. Okay, what I've done here is I've secured the philodendron to my bamboo with some twine in two places. So there's one here and there's one higher up here and hopefully as it grows now these little these little roots that we were talking about that's popping out from the side so i hope these little roots will grow out and grab onto the bamboo tree this is actually one of the reasons why i'm thinking that i don't need so much substrate on the main root itself because as the plant grows and if it roots onto my bamboo plant, uh, the aerial roots will be able to absorb nutrients and water from the air. So whenever I would fertilize the plant, I would actually uh, squirt some of the fertilizer on the roots itself so that the aerial roots will also be able to absorb the nutrients from the fertilizer. I will update you guys on how it's doing in a couple of weeks time but for now it's bye bye from me and please wish me luck. Mm -hmm.